what happened in RG car is very disturbing, very depressing, very shocking. There has been an attempt to tamper with the evidence or destroy evidence. People also feel that there is deliberate attempt to mislead them. The issue has been handled very badly by the authorities. People have a right to know the truth. The right to life is a fundamental right. The right to live with dignity is very important, especially, particularly for our mothers, sisters and daughters. That is not there in contemporary Bengali society. Mid-course correction is required in the administration of Bengal. What happened in RG car is very disturbing, very depressing, very shocking. It challenges the all norms of civilized contact. People are all dejected that the police did not act. Not only that, there has been an attempt to tamper with the evidence or destroy evidence. People also feel that there is deliberate attempt to mislead them, to give the impression that it was a suicide. The issue has been handled very badly by the authorities. People have a right to know the truth. And they are demanding that. I went there yesterday, interacted with all concerned. What the youngsters are asking is only one thing. We want justice. Isn't it fair? The youth, they want justice. The entire society is with them. We should be able to give them justice. Don't take the youngsters for granted. So the youth are not creatures of the past or custodians of the present. They are creators of the future. When they say we want justice, it means they are not getting justice from the competent authorities. That is clearly a failure of the custodians of justice. That is the government. The government is primarily responsible to ensure there is law and order in the state. Much more important, the right to life is a fundamental right. The right to live with dignity is very important, especially, particularly for our mothers, sisters, and daughters. That is not there in contemporary Bengali society because the government has failed the people. You know, we put up a fence to protect the crops. But suppose the fence starts eating the crops, when society is mad, we put it in chains. Suppose the chain itself becomes mad. It's a very bizarre situation which we are facing in Bengal. People are doubting who is the thief and who is the cop. The distinction has been blurred. Public confidence has been shaken. Law and order should be done. It should also be seen to be done properly. A corrective measure is required. Mid-course correction is required in the administration of Bengal. I was shocked by the dastardly attack which took place on 14 the night. A group of marauders rushed into the hospital, guarded by the police. Police could not do anything. They had their field day there. The total pell-mell everywhere. Equipment was destroyed. Worse than that, more humiliating, more depressing. Some of the nursing students told me with tears in their eyes, the Gundas told them, we will rape you in public. Who is that a question? That is the point. Who is that a question? That is what called anarchy. Maybe limited in a particular place, but such anarchical trends, people taking the law in their hands, this is not this doesn't do credit to any civilized society. That is what is happening in Bengal. That's what I saw reflected in the ugly incidents that took place in Arjikar.